Seriously, you are not going to believe this one. I had to talk about this today because I was having a conversation with someone yesterday and they told me this and I had to talk about it. You will not believe it. This is why I encourage people to look after their own health, to research and to find out how they can stay healthy without needing the health service and the drug companies and the medical industry and all of this. So this is in the UK where we have the NHS, which is supposedly free healthcare, but it's not free. We pay taxes for it. But anyway, it's there to serve us, supposedly, to help us get healthy. I spoke to someone yesterday who has had breast cancer. Now, they had they were diagnosed with breast cancer. They went in and they had an operation to remove it. And the hospital said, yep, it was successful. We got everything out. Great, it's gone. Then they said to her, we recommend that you have chemotherapy afterwards, just to, you know, maybe just to make doubly sure. But we recommend you have chemotherapy, even though we got it all out. And um, she, you know, kind of weighed it up and decided that actually she didn't really need the chemotherapy. She'd rather not, which is fair enough. It's very invasive. It's, you know, it's, it's attacking your body. It's basically the treatment is attacking all of your cells and hoping it kills the cancer cells before it kills your cells. So if you can avoid it, great. She decided not to. Perfect. A couple of weeks later, she gets a letter from the NHS saying, as you decided you didn't want chemotherapy. If you're going to stick with that decision, if your cancer comes back, we will not do anything for you. Anything. That's, that is our health service, supposed health service, that is there supposedly to help us and to keep us healthy if we need it. They are threatening her with not doing anything for her if cancer comes back because she didn't want to do the chemo. It's ridiculous. They're acting like they're a business that if, if, you know, if the customer doesn't want to use us, then fine, you can never use us again. No, it's not meant to be a business. I mean, it is ran like a business, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be a service that we all pay for through our taxes. And they're telling you, if you don't have these very harmful drugs that we're going to force on you, then screw you. We're not going to help you. We'll just leave you to die if you need our help in the future. It's disgusting. And then she actually said, well, you know, can I just have a couple of weeks to enjoy Christmas and then start it? And they said, no. They said, you have to start it now or that's it. You're done. It's disgusting. That's our NHS. That's how they're operating. That is how the drug industry works because they want you on the drugs. They don't want you healthy. They don't care about your health and they have the audacity to tell you that despite it's a supposedly free service that you pay for and is there for you, they're not going to help you if you refuse to take one of their poisonous drugs. That's what we're dealing with. So this is why you need to take control of your own health. Your government doesn't care about you. The health industry doesn't care about you. The NHS does not care about you. They care about the bottom line. They care about profits. They care about money. They care about numbers. That's all they care about. So start taking care of your health. And it starts with your diet and lifestyle. Start taking care of it and then you won't even need the NHS. And that's a good place to be because you don't want to need them. Because as you can see, that's how they treat you. You want to steer clear of that. So start looking after your health today. Follow the page for lots of tips on how you can look after your health, optimise your diet and lifestyle and not need the NHS.